Hello and welcome to Dart tutorial. In this video, you will learn about map in Dart. In map, you can store data in key value pairs. Let me share my screen and let's see a complete demo. Okay, here you can see in map data is, is stored in keys and values. In map, each key must be unique. You need to write a unique key every time. They are similar to has map and dictionaries in other language. If you are from Python, map is just like dictionary. Okay, let me open my Visual Studio code and let's see a practical demo. Okay, let's write our main method. I'll write main method here and I will say, I'll create a map and you need to write two data type, one for key and another one is for value. Okay, for key, I'll write a string and for value, I'll also write a string. I'll say country capital, country capital, okay, is equal to, in curly bracket, you need to write, first of all key, then one colon, then you need to write value, okay. I will say, USA, Washington DC, Nepal, Kathmandu, Japan, Japan, Tokyo. Okay. Then, if you want to find the capital of US, okay, USA, then you need to write print country capital just write square bracket and write key here this is key usa is key value is wdc nepal is key value is Kathmandu. japan is key value is tokyo okay and just write semicolon okay if i run this program that is dot map work dot dot okay if i run this program here you can see WDC got printed. Okay, if you want to print the capital of Japan, then you need to write Japan here. Here you can see the capital of Japan got printed. In this way, if you want to print the capital of Nepal, then in this way you can print the capital city. You can use map in that. Okay, now let's move forward excess value from key we already we have already done this part okay here are some properties of map okay uh, you can find all the keys okay if you want to find the, all the keys just write country capital dot keys keys this will print all the keys okay if i run this program here you can see all the keys got printed in this way you can print all the keys okay i will make it little bold and I will clear. Okay. Okay. If I run this program, here you can see all the key got printed. If you, if I write here values, and if I run this program, here you can see all the value got printed. In this way, you can print keys and values, and you can check either this map is empty or not. Okay. For that, just write is empty. That map work this is false because we have some data inside it okay okay is not empty this will be true if i write is not empty okay here you can see true got printed and if you want to find the length of map here are three items one is this two is this and three is this okay if i run this program by length country capital dot length then here you can see three got printed okay if i rem remove one country and if i print these details then here is two in this way you can use map properties in that okay example of map properties we have already done this part okay adding elements to map okay what if i want to add india to this map okay if i want to add india then just i need to write country capital i will say india is equal to new delhi 
okay and then if i print the capital city of india then the result will be new delhi if i run this program here you can see new delhi got printed in this way you can also add uh, other uh, other keys and values in map okay if i write india again then if i run this program here you can see new delhi got printed and if i print all the country capital let me print country capital okay here you can see usa washington dc nepal kathmandu japan tokyo india new delhi this india got printed only one time okay it's a good idea to uh, write key only one time okay let's move forward and updating key of the map okay here if i want to update the capital city of japan tio key yo with tio key io okay then just i need to write country capital dot sorry country capital japan is equal to tio key io okay <clears throat> okay and if i print the country capital of japan japan then if i run this program tokyo got printed its spelling is t o k i o in this way you can update the value in map okay this is also very very easy and it is also very very important also here are some useful map methods okay back keys dot to list okay you can convert keys to list okay just if you want to convert if i print country capital dot keys dot i'll just print this one if i print this one then this will not print the data in list but if you want to print if if you want to check the data type then just write uh, write runtime type at the end okay okay let's run the program here you can see this is not a set also okay this is a compact iterable uh, string okay i will just uh, write here dot to list okay and if i run this program here you can see okay list is available now okay and if i write the runtime type here and if i run the program then you, you can see list of string okay in this way you can convert keys to list and you can also convert values to list just write values here and all the value are in list okay in this way you can convert keys and values to list in dart okay you can also check contents key okay just if you, if you want to check country capital dot i will say contains key and i will check uh, there is uh, whether there is uh, country uh, available or not okay i will just say nepal here is nepal available or not if i run this program then this will say true yeah nepal is available and if i say if i say like china okay if i say china and if i run this program china is not available so this is false okay in this way you can uh, use contents key method similarly you can also uh, use contents value method okay just write contents value and whether let's check new delhi is available or not i will say new delhi value is available or not okay this is available uh, here are few value if you are working with large values thousands of values then the doing uh, manually uh, checking manually is not possible you need to use this method okay now let's move forward another one is clear clear is used to clear all the items of the map if i say country capital i will just print country capital here okay now let's run the program here you can see if i say country capital dot clear clear 
okay and if i run this program here is nothing here you can see nothing got printed okay here is nothing just a empty map okay okay here is another uh, stop which is very very interesting that is remove where remove all the elements from the map if the condition is valid okay let's see the example okay now let's make uh, a student name and a student mark map okay okay for that i will create map2 dot dot okay map2 dot dot void main okay i will just say map of string for student name and double for map of string and double double for student mark okay and i'll say student marks is equal to i'll say ram mark is 32 harry mark is 45 john mark is 12 sima mark is 14 and mark mark is 46 okay now let's find the student whose mark are greater than 32 okay using where using remove where okay just remove where here you can see math mark dot uh, remove where okay i'll say i'll say just student marks okay student marks dot remove where and you need to write a condition here okay if i write the condition that is key i need to write value value is greater than 32 okay and i will print the student mark okay student marks okay let's run the program okay there is nothing okay we need to change the file name that map to dot dot okay here you can see ram mark is 32 zone mark is 12 sima mark is 14 we are getting the negative result we need to change this symbol just write smaller than okay where value is smaller than 32 if i run this program here you can see ram uh, mark is 32 and harry mark is 45 and mark mark is 46 if you write here 33 or you can write uh, equal to 32 then here you can see 45 and 46 got printed okay if you don't want to include 32 in it in this way you can use remove where in that i hope you understood about remove where and if you have any question regarding map in that comment below i will help you and thank you so much for watching this video up to the very end if you like this video hit the like button i will see you in the next video thank you thank you thank you